All right, control experiments. The most common experiment that you will ever see conducted in biology is something called the controlled experiment. Let's write that down. And what that means is that you are testing the effects of one variable at a time. All conditions in your experiment will be kept exactly the same with the exception of one variable. Now what do I mean by variable? Variable is a condition in the environment that can affect the outcome of your experiment. I always like to have a go-to in my brain about what to use. So let's use the classic example all over the United States right now. Children are doing this exact experiment. They're testing the effects of miracle Grow on the growth of a plant. So you put some miracle Grow and some soil and you put five or ten pea plants in there and then you wait a couple weeks and then you get this. The pea plant grows, it has nice pretty leaves, fantastic, but you haven't really proven anything. All you can prove is that when I do an experiment and I pl put miracle Grow on a pea plant, this is what I get. Controlled experiment means that you are going to simu simultaneously, however you pronounce that, put another experiment in place right next to your miracle Grow, but this one receives no miracle Grow, And that's because at the end of this experiment you will be able to compare the growth of the plant that received miracle Grow against the plant that received no miracle Grow, And then you've proved something. During this experiment you wanted to make sure that the conditions in this and this were kept exactly the same. We call those this is controlled variables. So what are some things we should have kept the same? Well, for instance, soil. You wanted to use the same exact soil in both plants. You wanted to make sure that each day they received the same kind and amount of water. They're plants. They need light, so they both need the same amount of and duration of light. You want to keep the temperature the same throughout temperature throughout the entire experiment and barometric pressure and you know same plan and all those things you can add but these are the four main ones especially for plants that you want to keep the same I have stayed away from mentioning one variable and that is the miracle Grow. this side received miracle Grow, and this side did not you could say that it was an independent variable it was in a very it was a variable that was all by itself from this experiment and for that reason we do call it the independent variable independent variable. So in an experiment, a controlled experiment, it is the variable that you are changing. Changing has a H. Changing. I tested the effect of miracle Grow on the growth of a plant. That caused a change. That caused a variable that I wasn't prepared for to change. It grew. So I measure that as my dependent variable. We often refer to the dependent variable as your results. This one grew so far, this one grew so far. We can call it height in centimeters. Fantastic. So your experiment is over with. <clears throat> You want to put your data into an organized fashion, so we use something called data tables. The most basic you can come up with is the classic T table. On this side, I put my independent variable. On this side, I put my dependent variable. The change that I made was the nutrients. And one of them received miracle Grow, and the other side received no miracle Grow. I can measure oops, I can measure their height in centimeters. And the one with miracle Grow grew 25 centimeters, let's say, and the one with no miracle Grow 12 centimeters. Because I put my units up here, I don't have to include it every time with my data table. Just a quick mention back to this before I forget. This side received the independent variable so it is called the experimental group. 
This side received only the controlled variables, so we call it the control. It's a pretty important part. I'm surprised they overlooked it. We can take that data and put it into a graph. My y-axis, my x-axis, your dependent variable always goes on the y-axis. Your independent variable always goes on the x. Uh, my x left me because she was independent. That's a way to remember it. So on the y-axis, height in centimeters. Down here, nutrients. But miracle grow. No miracle grow. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I graph the height of the miracle grow. I graph the height of no miracle grow. I can see a picture of my data. Graph means picture. So this is a picture of my data. Sometimes you need a graph. This was pretty obvious. We only had two data points we could compare. And when you write your title, the easiest title to write is the effect. of your independent variable on your dependent variable. I'm running out of room so I'm scrunching this together. So the effect of miracle Grow on the height of a pea plant. The effect of uh, Taxol on the growth of a cancer tumor. The effect of music on study habits. I mean it's, it's whatever you change and how it changes your results. It's easy enough. Okay.